ladies and gentlemen. We are back out on the California Delta, and today we are fishing a part of the Delta that's very unique. It's a very popular spot on the California Delta, and it's Frank's Track. Frank's Track is basically like a mini Lake Okeechobee, a lot of people have said. Big bowl, and it's shallow. I think the deepest parts, maybe like 10 foot on a very high tide. You know, this is a special place from what I gather. Back in the day, this used to be the place to win tournaments 100%. If you weren't fishing Frank's Track, you were fishing to lose. Although it's changed a lot over the past years, it still has a ton of big fish in the track. For me, I've actually never fished it this time of year, this early in the year. We typically come here for tournaments in the summer and the fall, and the water's all... Oh, man, check the sea lion. That's a baby. Well, we'll see if we can do this intro still. I'm a little nervous right now. You guys know I don't like sea lions, but uh, typically we come here a little bit later. All oh, sketched out now. Ready to go. And uh, the water's a lot clearer, but this is the earliest I've ever been here. The water's dirtier. Big fish live here, that's for sure. They're just typically a lot more finicky, tougher to catch. Early spring, these fish are probably starting to move up. Maybe some are on beds. Got a lot of positive feedback on the last video where we weighed our best five fish, so we will take the weight of our best five bass today. That's the video for today. Another day on the Delta fishing Frank's track. Let's see what happens. I think it'd be a crime if we didn't start with a chatterbait. Let's get up in there. Mix it up a lot today. There's a bait for you. I'm not gonna talk about it until we catch one on it, but... I think this could do some damage today. long enough. Probably a little male. Yeah, that's a start. That's a little one. We should weigh him, but I don't think we're gonna weigh him. It's a baby. It's probably a keeper, but... Okay, here's the jig today. We're mixing it up. This is not the standard cheater jig that you guys are accustomed to seeing. This is another football style head jig, but uh, today, since we knew the water was gonna be most definitely dirty, we uh, picked the jig with a little bit of an orange, or maybe like a quarter of it, and something very unusual, something that I've never done before, never caught a fish on, so that was my first fish doing it, was using this style trailer, but more so rigging it like this. And to be honest, I've always thought that looks so silly, but I should probably shut my trap because I've seen more pros even like local guys on the Delta rig a trailer, like a chunk trailer, like that. I guess I'm more of the school of thought that you have to like thread the trailer on, make it look all pretty, but I think with these chunk trailers, since in general you don't have as much action, it's better to just rig them like this on the hook, and then it allows your trailer to free swing and it gives it just a tiny bit more action, especially when it's sitting. Yeah, that's how we're fishing today. We are putting the cheater jig on the bench, but so far that little dude uh, fell for it. Power shot.
926. Dude, it's been tough. What the heck is going on? I'm not liking it. It has been super tough. Frustrating. So, time to do something a little different. We're doing something. Tough conditions. See how it works. I know there's fish here, you know? They're just not biting. Not wanting what I'm throwing. I thought I brought him. Ah, these little turds. There we go. It's a Delta backup bait right here. When it gets tough, you just throw a little drop shot around. Maybe these fish are on the back side of these toolies. God, I, I suck at fishing today though, I'm telling you right now. I'm having troubles, big time troubles. Can't do anything over here, literally. Okay, a little uh, mid-morning update, guys. It is almost 10.30. One bite all day, one bite, 12 incher on a jig. Not exactly how I thought today would go. Thought we'd have like 15 pounds at least by now, but uh, we don't. It's a struggle, as it sometimes is. Tide is moving out, as you guys can see. It's moving pretty fast today. It's a pretty big tide swing today. Look at all this current behind us. Moving to a different part of the track. Hopefully these fish are a little bit more active. Maybe we just need this tide to get right. I'm not sure. Struggle bus so far. bird sanctuary over here. Oh man. Oh my God. Oh no. Dude, we actually had a freaking bite right there. No. Got him again. Got him that time. Oh my God. It's a good one too, finally. Gotta net this fish just so we can weigh one today. Oh my God, it's not good. It's not good at all. When you haven't caught a fish in so long, they feel like giants. Oh, dude, I messed him up. Dude, that might be smaller than the first one. Almost 12, 11.41, second bite of the day. Gosh, at least it's a bite. Probably could have measured both of those or weighed both of them, but they're probably not even a pound. Another one. That's a better one. That's a big one, I think. That might be real big. Oh, just a little pocket over right here. Dude. It's so funny, that bite was right there. That bite was right there. Now we, we can weigh that one. For sure can weigh that one. Oh my God, it's got a little it ate something. It's got a tail sticking out of its throat. Whatever, it just ate something. It's gonna give us a little extra weight. Goodness, we actually get to weigh a fish today. Two ten. Two ten. We got a fish on the board. 
Something's got something down its throat. All righty. Two quick bites. Might be a good sign. Okay, if anything was gonna work today and get bit, it had to be the drop shot. So that one was there, that one was there. It's gotta be more, right? Gotta be. Almost one o'clock. Caught two more, I guess, but yeah, that was it. One keeper on the board still, moving spots. I think we're gonna be out here quite a while today, but I don't know, I just wanna figure them out. It, like, it frustrates me when we can't catch them. I don't know why, it just, it's frustrating. So, I'm gonna put a few more hours out here for sure. See if we can uh, find something, I don't know. The tide is still moving out, believe it or not, you can see. I think we got about one more hour of this outgoing tide and then it'll switch. It's getting pretty low. One of those days so far. You got it. Oh, wow. That's just a giant right there. Oh my golly, think that's a keeper? I don't know, it's close. I'm gonna say no. At least it's a bite though. Better than nothing, I guess. Usually where there's one of those little guys, there's a bunch more. Oh, that's not that little. It's little, but not that little. Eh, it's still little though. <laughs> the fish are grouped up, I think. Interesting. What's interesting is those, that's two fish right there, and the other two we kind of got in quick succession were on a similar area. There's a fish right there. They're like relating to current today. There's a pile of them right here. We found a little little pile. Hey, they're getting bigger. They're definitely relating to this current. Man, it's one of those days where I will take a pile of dinks at this point. Like, I just, I just will. I'll take them. It's three bites and like four casts. Well, we gotta try plucking a bigger one. Keep drop shotting. Jeez, that's the only thing I can get bit on, literally. There we go. Got her. That's a better one. Come on, finally. Well, let's weigh it. That's second biggest fish of the day. Is it? Dude. I mean, I know that's 12 inch, you know, we're gonna weigh it. I know it's 12, probably like a 12 and a half inch fish, but we gotta weigh them. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta weigh every keeper we get now. Just cause I said I'd do the best five, so. One, three. On the drop shot. At least they're biting now, you know? Before they just, I don't know if they were lock jawed or just super tucked in under the cover. I don't know, but at least they're, they're biting. That's a good one. Oh, it's a big one. There we go. <laughs> oh, 
Alrighty, they're starting to bite and it's two o'clock. Sometimes you gotta wait these fish out, you know? Whoa, easy, don't break my thumb. Little buck bass. It's actually a big buck bass. He's gonna attract a big girl come this spring. One fifteen. Alrighty. Number three. Thank you, sir. One fifteen. So, man, I don't know. We could go with a jig, some other baits, but right now I feel like they're gonna bite whatever lands in front of them, and there's just more of a chance it won't bite if it's a jig. I don't know. It's got a lot of confidence in this little worm right now, so it's hard to get away from it. Way back there. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna pay off that cast. That did. We gotta go where no one goes before. Some of these casts, you know, you gotta go where they're not casting. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. They're way up in there. Woohoo! Got him now. See, that was a cast I almost didn't make because it was kind of a tough cast, but <sighs> that's what you get sometimes when you make those tough casts. <sighs> that's a nice one. Oh man, look at the belly on this one. Oh, and he's got a crawfish pinchery down his throat. Look at the belly. Belly shirt, baby. Three pounder. Three. Yonder. Number four. That's how it always seems to go though, out here on the Delta. Like spurts. You get a bunch of bites right in a row. It's like they just turn on might be the tide conditions whatever but it def there's definitely feeding windows out here no doubt more pronounced than anywhere else there we go buddy Ooh, gotta make those sneaky casts today all right man it's a limit fish is right there can't believe we got a limit. It happened so fast, too. So fast. One nine. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. 350. That was a long day of fishing out on Frank's track and uh, somehow we scraped together a limit. I'm not even sure what we had. Maybe like 11 pounds. Man, I'll tell you one thing. Bite windows are for real. You guys saw it today. It was really, really tough this morning. Covered a lot of water today. Tried a lot of areas. Threw a bunch of baits and right kind of near the end, actually one last stretch that we're going to make. The bite turned on. The fish were there and that was a stretch we'd fished earlier too. I knew there were fish there and that's the thing. You know in Frank's track there are fish. There are fish everywhere. So if you're not getting bit, they're probably not biting. That was definitely the case today. It wasn't necessarily the bait. It was just the time, the time of day, the tide, whatever it may be, but it was the bite window. Just a window of time for whatever reason, the fish in a certain area decide to feed. <sighs> Whew. Glad we stayed out a little bit longer than we thought. Salvage the day right at the end. So that is going to do it for today's video. As always, thank you guys for coming along and I'll catch you in the next one.